Okay, here we are in Oscar's space area, which is not Sorry, over there. I'm not sure how to help with that yet. In my my area, he is kind of out of it a little bit. Um, basically, my dining room starts here, and yeah, I can't fit him in my room. I'd love to have you know stackable enclosures and things all set up but you know these enclosures are fine for now and you can see him he's going like what is going on is there going to be some food no no food boy oh because you've made a mess mister yeah, I would go and hide myself too after making a mess for me. Uh, Oscar has yet to to be toilet trained. Uh, a little bit young at this particular point. Well, he's not really. It's just long, little and, and gangly uh, at this particular point. But he will be toilet trained of course because he will be a big boy uh, one day um, and he only gets out of it because he is a little boy now I'm not really sure whether he's going to make much of an appearance uh, because he's hiding in the hole and unfortunately with videos uh, we might be able to see of course Archie up there hanging on his hang it hang hammock oh my goodness um, but you know he hasn't made a mess his enclosure is nice and clean and I did only really do his the other day to be fair so I'm going to get the moss box out and uh, moisten that up for Oscar. Oscar, I am going to have to change uh, this paper. And he is, unfortunately, <laughs> laying under the paper that I want to to physically get out. I don't always pull them out when I'm cleaning if I don't need to and if they're not really <laughs> um, wanting to but he's actually done it in totally the wrong spot so hey dude can you please come out for mum Oh, one-handed this is so heavy with this little guy hanging in it well I see you can you move for mum please can you please move thank you oh he says do you have to I really do not like to disturb him and excuse the lighting over here too I'm I have turned my spotlight from my kitchen over in this direction uh, to help me out a little bit but Oscar going up there of course is helping me out a little bit as well but I'm not going to, to stay on this uh, although I could because he's he's so cute he really is just a cute cute little boy he's like are you going to touch me mum mm. He has been a bit of a stick in the mud lately, as we say here in Australia. Not really overly keen to come on out, but you know, certainly doesn't mind when I'm offering him a meal in there. Well, I didn't touch you. I did not go near you, silly Billy. I didn't do anything. So what was that all about? It's just in case you're thinking about it, I'm just letting you know right now, I'm not 
I'm not coming out. I'm hanging out up here today, which is good because now I can get back to cleaning. I'm going to put in some footage of him actually out for you to see. He was such a wriggle worm. He wouldn't keep still. Um, so, but you know, I did my best to get some sort of video with him. So we'll move on to that because he's just gonna chill out up there. And or generally, he sleeps pretty much on this contraption, which I used for Lily for a long time. She actually used that as her hammock. And he has taken to sleeping down here in the bamboo one that I made um, for him. And I'll put a clip in. Well, actually, I'll put a clip in right now of him actually using this hammock. And then we'll go on to a little bit of the video of him when he was out and about. Is that okay, Oscar? You'll feel much better after I've cleaned up your enclosure, you know. And I know you will feel much better. Because it smells. Like, man, you are a smelly boy sometimes. And I know you can't help it, but anyway. There he is. Just a little bit of um, his patterns for you to see. Oscar is, for those that don't know or don't remember, believe me, I very rarely ever remember. Uh, he was 16 months old when I actually bought him here. So he would be 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, maybe even 21 months old. So, you know, he's coming up to two years of age. So, yeah, he's doing just fine. So on to this video with him in the hammock and then a little of him out and about. This isn't about a cup of tea, but while I wait for this cup of tea to, you know, brew a little bit in the cup, I want to show you something. Okay, I want to show you this while my cup of tea is brewing. If, if we can see, because I haven't got major lights on. Because it's late guys. It's really late at night. Where I'm really contemplating just, you know, going to bed. Mm. Lighting is not so good. But, I think you can see Oscar laying up there in the hammock and why am I like particularly showing you this of Oscar in the hammock is because I made this hammock and put it in a good couple of months ago for Oscar to use because I thought he would would really like it in terms why I thought he would really like it is because then he has top level of heat a middle level of heat and then of course he's got the floor he does have heat over this side with a heat map but on this side he has of course is this cool side but he's never used this hammock. He, would, he has always bypassed it and basically gone up here and up the top and spends a lot of time over in this contraption. I don't even know what to name it, but it is a kind of a hammock you can see, but he loves that particular hammock and I see him in there a lot but this one 
never. So, yeah, that's why I clicked on the camera. While my cup of tea is brewing in the cup, I thought I would show you Oscar using it for the very first time, actually. So I'm really pleased that he actually likes it. And all that is, is thin bamboo poles all joined together. I've made it into a, a, a curve, if you can see my hand going like this, um, to replicate a hammock. And he's finally, um, he's finally in it. And yeah, I'm really pleased. What you doing, Amaya? Hey? Nice and comfortable? Are you nice and comfortable? You're watching Mum's every move, aren't you? The light just washes out her colours, though. So, yeah, but there's no other way. If I lower the blind a little bit, it is really sunny, of course, and the sun shining right through that window. But she's up there. She's got so much of her in the pod. And the rest is just hanging out of the hammock, checking us out down here. She can, she's got a great view of everything that is going on. I just wanted to do this, put this in. I'm sure she'll explore more, but for now, she's just hanging there. I had to, while well, I was cleaning out his enclosure, and I couldn't see him uh, where he was actually. And I lifted his hide out, and here he was on top of it, which is good because getting Oscar out of his enclosure is almost impossible because he can grip onto anything. And then I, I, I don't have <laughs> any hope of getting him down. It's just too much of a struggle and too much of a fight. And I really don't want him to go up there yet because if he does, and he is determined, as you can see, to go up there, I, I won't see him. Well, you won't see him either because he just goes and disappears, you can say, because he wants to go up high and I just chase him, as you can see. Where are you going and what are you wanting to do here? Dude, like there are places you can go and places you cannot go. I'm going to actually heading on up as you can see if I'm if I can get the camera ultimately right uh, which is not easy when you are trying to sort of figure him out and help him out a little bit here but I'll let him have you know he's he's got quite long Oscar is still very slim of course he's got a lot of filling out to do um, at this point in his life. Um, I got Oscar when he was 16 months old and he was such a, a tiny, tiny little dot of a snake. And yeah, he's still to me, you know, he would be 22 months old and he is still to me, oh, I'm unsteady on the couch guys, so I figure the camera's going to be a little bit shaky. I'll hold the wall um, here so that you can uh, just see what it is that he might decide he wants to do. Um, okay. I don't 
Now I'm figuring he's going to continue to go up and I want him to to get to know this area very well and we can't really see him we're just sort of watching the bottom end of him and his um, top end is there he is hello dude hello dude what are you doing yep while he's young and he's still big enough for me to kind of keep track of kind of I'm saying I can't say totally keep track of him because he is so so little um, you know he was fatter and longer and the day's going to come where he will be but this particular area is certainly going to become very important to Oscar as well as outside so you know I've started Oscar now being able to come and explore here and get to know it more and the more he explores it and the more he gets to know it the more he's going to want to come out and be out here and less of opening that door and him curled up up somewhere and him you know fighting me all the way to come out of his enclosure because he will remember this area he will remember coming out and climbing and having a look at everything and saying to himself wow look at all this space look where I can go look what I can climb and do and that is what starts it all so yeah Oscar is starting to get to know this climbing area what is here and I'll continue with that um, for as you know getting him out I will bring him here of course I I like to spend a little bit of time with him but then he's free to go and as I say he's free to go and play I do not have a problem with him being up here so, you know, it is about getting them to an age where they're old enough to give them some freedom. And he's not a big boy. He, he really isn't a big boy. He's a long boy. But, you know, he's going to hit that two-year-old level my age, not level, two year old, level, I will say, mentally, that will be how they kind of are for their whole life. But he will then start to fill out. And of course he will grow longer, but he's going to fill out. And yeah, then we're going to see quite a size difference happening in that year from two to three years of age. So, yeah, he is eating small wieners now, so that's a big enough size for him and he does get fed weekly. Um, I still consider him to be a young one. Um, and eventually, you know, I will take his time out between feeds longer, of course, and especially over the winter, where, you know, they tend to be a little bit more, less active, you could say, although I don't allow my snakes to be less active, I certainly get them out and get them moving and using those muscles and you know Oscar needs to use his muscles he's in an enclosure that is is quite big enough for him to climb up um, go up and down on the branches and sleeps up on his hammock and and he's tasting of course 
tasting and then smelling um, that there's been other snakes up here um, not just Oscar although none of them are able to fit up on that ledge even though they really really want to especially in Maya she particularly is quite um, interested in this top shelf and you know I would love to add a shelf across here for them to sleep on if they choose to um, as I've done over the the other side except I've used um, of course uh, branches all the way crisscrossed and so forth which I may do especially for these little ones but it doesn't mean they'll stay there. Will it Oscar? <coughs> hey we're in this shadow because yeah the light's behind us and uh, are you comfy up there? How are you gonna get down? Squish your way back there can you fit double of you across that ledge? Hey? But anyway guys I wanted, you know, Oscar was out. I wasn't thinking about doing a video, but, you know, I thought, okay, pick up the camera, show Oscar having an explore up here, and he might just kind of settle up there, I don't know. And I've got to clean out his enclosure now and get that sorted for him so it's nice and clean. And he can um, lay up there. And that means I will be checking on him and checking on him and stopping and starting uh, so that he, I know that he's still up there. So guys, you take care of yourself and your family and your friends, your snakes and all your animals. Ciao.